Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to or welcome back to Figures Outside. So today we're gonna to be doing a little snow plowing. Uh, gonna be also showing you guys an update for the, oh, sorry, just watching the road. Uh, gonna be doing a little update with the Colpin snow plow, uh, actually giving a little brief demonstration of how to plow a road. Um, if you're using one of these, pretty simple, um, but a lot of people don't know how. And so uh, I'll be giving a little uh, quick demonstration of that. Yeah, I've kind of been MIA a little bit. Um, excuse me for the messy garage here. But uh, yeah, I ended up uh, fracturing several bones on the top of my foot um, at work. So uh, just kind of been hanging out and relaxing and not doing a whole lot besides uh, still going to work. Um, just wrapping it. I uh, didn't want to wear no damn walking boot. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the quad all fired up and uh, show you guys what we got. All right, yeah. So I did my driveway and we're up here. Got the snow plow kicked off to roughly 45 degrees going to the left. So what you're going to want to do, let the plow down and uh, gonna start off in the middle of the road because what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna start off in the middle because if you start off on the side you're just pushing it all off on the side then you got to come back up and then keep going back and forth so what you want to do is you want to start off in the middle it'll build a berm on the left hand side when you come back up it'll still be on the left hand side you'll be pushing it more toward that side and then what you do is you come back to that section you push it down so anyway here we go it's a little noisy granted but that's what the plow skids are for. And you might have to do a couple passes depending upon how wide your road is. So, show you guys right here, stop in front of the, the house. And see how it's building that berm up right there, all along there? So this section of the road is really wide. So probably gonna have to make a couple passes but that's all right so I'm gonna go all the way down same thing go a little bit further show you guys basically just split the road right the so-called yellow line you know next pass that you guys going along with me on this is kind of boring so see you here in a minute all right so here we are going back up the other side right back here idea I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done all right y'all so uh, got the road done see this is a little cold out right now um, but uh, yeah I got it done I did three passes down three passes up just because it's pretty wide but uh, let me show you guys so there it is 
because you don't want to leave that snow on there because what it does is it acts as an insulation and so if you do get a little bit of thaw it'll freeze underneath and that snow just keeps it insulated like a cooler but uh, just in the short time that I've been doing this you can already see it's some of the spots it's already starting to melt off a little bit and that'll help um, and later on if it continues to snow pretty heavy uh, you see down there in the corner completely thawed I even went up the road that way and did a little bit more up there. Actually, I went all the way up that way to help out my neighbors. And I mean, it took me a whole whopping 15 minutes to get it done. So there it is. Now I'm just kind of pushing this snow off to the side. Anyway. There you go. Now you can hear me. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, coming along with me plowing the road for a little bit, I guess. But uh, that's just a basic quick thing. Um, if you have a snow plow, how to plow a road or a driveway or anything like that. Um, better on a road, driveway. If you got a real long driveway or pretty wide, you can plow it all to the edges and then straighten out the plow and uh, push it off to the side. But on a road or anything like that, you wanna start off in the middle like I showed you guys and then just work your way out and it uh, works pretty good. So that was the Colpin switchblade snow plow that I've been using. And I will post a link in the video down below um, to the other videos. Um, I had to modify the plow arms a little bit because they were actually really short and that's kind of a big complaint with this thing, um, with this plow. But uh, other than that, pretty happy with it. It seems to be pretty durable, not a whole lot of wear and tear. Um, and I've done this road couple times now um, it's gravel got some chuck holes in it right now but uh, anyway rambling on and also um, I have a link for my Instagram down below if you guys want to just want to check out some photos but uh, anyway like I said if you like this video hit that thumbs up button and subscribe <laughs> and uh, we'll get it to you guys later so until next time bye bye